Yo, what is going on guys? It's the one and only one Hennis and today I am bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video over here onto the Carnage Clan channel. Now today guys, what we're going to be watching is one of the most insanely cool, unique gameplays I've ever seen here for Black Ops 3 and I think I've ever seen for Call of Duty in general. I can't remember if I've actually ever seen a gameplay that's this unique or even close to being along these lines. What Carnage Frizzize, the player, manages to do in this gameplay is get 120 kills playing Domination on the map Nuketown, but all of the kills that he gets in this gameplay are only from his teammates care packages. That's right guys. So what Frizz Eyes does is he's playing I believe in a six man party or he's at least playing in some sort of a party. I'm not sure exactly how many players he has but what his teammates do is they rush out at the beginning of the game and they get kills and allows them to get their care packages and then what they do is they come back to spawn they drop the care packages right near Frizz Eyes and then Frizz Eyes gets the streaks out of the care packages and gets kills with them. So all 120 kills came from streaks that came out of care packages. That is absolutely phenomenal. He doesn't get a single kill here with his weapon. A truly unique gameplay and just a really fun one to watch because there's obviously a lot of luck that goes into getting these streaks out of a care package. So the fact that he manages to get 100 plus with this is absolutely phenomenal. But that wouldn't be good enough for Carnage Frizz Eyes now, would it? He manages to get 100 plus, 120 kills. That's insanely cool, right? If I got a gameplay like that, I'd be blown out of my mind excited, but that's not good for Carnage Frizz Eyes. He needs to also go ahead and die zero times. He gets 120 kills and dies zero times for a flawless care package streak only gameplay. I'm telling you guys right now, this is definitely one of the most entertaining gameplays I've ever seen so far here in Black Ops 3. Just after skimming through the gameplay quickly before I started this commentary, uh, I can tell you guys that the streaks Carnage Frizz Eyes manages to get here in this gameplay include the Hardened Sentry, Hellstorm, Rolling Thunder, Dart, Wraith, Cerberus, Raps, HCXD, Lightning Strike, and GI Unit. Now, I think what surprises me the most out of that list is the Wraith, the Raps, and the GI Unit, because those are three streaks that people really like to use when they're going for incredibly high kill gameplays. If you guys remember back when the 700 kill uh, challenge was a thing in custom games, those were the streaks that people would run, because those are the streaks that can get you the most kills and get you these really intense gameplays. So the fact that Carnage Frizz Eyes gets lucky enough to get those exact same streaks out of care packages is incredible incredibly cool and then obviously he has to be in a good enough lobby to use those and he also has to be smart enough about when to call on those streaks, where to place them and stuff like that. Now one of the really cool things that I noticed about this gameplay that I've seen some other YouTubers do but I've never really had the chance to address it in a commentary here is how he spawn traps this gameplay. Now you guys may be asking, Hennis, how on earth could he be spawn trapping in this gameplay if he doesn't get any kills with his weapon? Well, you guys will actually see here in a point in this gameplay, Carnage Frizz Eyes uses the Cerberus. He manually controls the Cerberus and actually spawn traps the enemy. I believe at the C domination site here on Nuketown, which is incredibly cool to watch. It's either the C or A1. I'm blanking on it right now. But nonetheless, what you do is you sort of place the Cerberus right in front of the house. So you're looking at the back garden spawns. And then he just kind of pivots back and forth in one spot, shooting the enemies that all spawn. And then obviously what he does is he has his teammates hold down the spawns in the middle of the map and back on the opposite flag, which is incredibly cool. And I think from watching his gameplay, he actually manages to get most of his kills actually doing that, which is incredibly cool because I've seen some YouTubers do that, like I said but I've never really had the chance to address how creative that is and how cool that is for a gameplay like this. So 120 kills, zero deaths, carnage for his eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go ahead and enjoy today's gameplay, a like rating would be very much appreciated. 1,000 likes is going to be our like goal for today. When Apollo sent me this commentary, he told me that this commentary was going to be our last one big bang of a gameplay before Infinite Warfare actually drops. So I really hope you guys will go ahead and give this video a like just as a grand finale for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 here. Obviously, we brought you guys a lot of really cool gameplays, but this one, in my opinion, has got to be one of the most intense and one of the most fun to watch gameplays I've ever seen go up here in Carnage and by another Call of Duty pub stomping YouTuber. So, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to go ahead and check out Carnage Frizz Eyes channel if you have not done so already. This man pushes out amazing content. And I'm not just saying gameplays like this, right? Obviously, we know from watching something like this, and you know from the other uploads that Frizz Eyes has gotten that he can get amazing gameplays like this, right? But if you guys also remember, this man also got the world's first 300 plus in Black Ops 3, which in my opinion is Black Ops 3's most signature gameplay. When people think of a really signature gameplay, a gameplay that maybe marked Black Ops 3, that really, when people think of really high standard gameplays in BO3, they think, oh yeah, the world's first 300 plus by Carnage Frizz Eyes. That gameplay just blew my mind. And this was the exact same guy who got it. So if those two things all by themselves are not enough of an incentive to go check him out, then I don't know what it is. But not only does he do that, he also does live commentaries as well. And I believe he implements some tips 
tips and tricks within those live commentaries, which is why they're really fun and really informative to watch. So make sure you guys go ahead and check him out as well. But I'm just realizing now I'm shouting out his channel five minutes into this commentary, which is a little weird. I don't usually do that, but I feel like this is just one of those gameplays that I needed to talk so much about at the very beginning. So really hope you guys to go ahead and uh, enjoy that. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into today's commentary topic. So what I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about, or actually what I'm going to ask you guys is what gameplay would you feel is the most significant within Black Ops 3? When you guys think of Black Ops 3, you think of Carnage Clan, you think of all the videos that we've uploaded here over the last year as far as gameplays go, which one sticks out to you the most? Now, if I were to have to pick a number two spot, or even the more I think about it, this one would really compete with the number one spot, with the world's first 300 plus. And what that gameplay is, is the world's first hexanuclear by Carnage Chain. Now, I don't know if you guys know what a hexanuclear is, but it's basically when Carnage Chain, the player behind that gameplay, went ahead and got six nuclears in a single game of domination in Black Ops 3. And that gameplay wasn't on Nuketown, surprisingly, it was actually on Combine. So those two gameplays for me are what really signify and what really show me how cool of a game Black Ops 3 was. And it really goes to show as well how amazing these pub stompers are at these gameplays. So I wanna know from you guys though, was there a gameplay that you guys thought was really good or just a gameplay that you guys really enjoyed? It doesn't necessarily have to be like incredibly high standards. It could be one of those really awesome live commentaries that was uploaded by Carnage Swag. It could be the 70 kill TDM challenge series by Carnage Frizz Eyes. Hell, it could be like the top five plays of the week or something like that, although that's not really a gameplay. So I would hesitate for you guys to say something like that. But if there is a unique nuclear maybe by Carnage Destructinator or Isotonic or another one of those guys, tell me what it is down there in the comment system below because I want to know from you guys what stuck out to you for this year in Black Ops 3. And then I want you guys to know, do you think that exact same gameplay that you really liked for Black Ops 3 or that really had a big impact for you is going to be a gameplay that's going to be possible to achieve in Infinite Warfare? Because like I said, this is the last Black Black Ops 3 big bang of a gameplay that we're going to upload here on Carnage before we really hop into the Infinite Warfare beta gameplays and then obviously the Infinite Warfare release later this November. So I'd love to hear your opinions on all that stuff down there in the comment system below. Thank you guys all so very much for watching this video and for supporting us throughout the life cycle of BO3. It really means a lot to us guys. Thank you all so very much. We've grown so much and we have so many big plans for Infinite Warfare. Go ahead and comment down below hashtag gameplay if you watch it to this point in the video. Come check out me, Carnage Frizz Eyes, and subscribe to Carnage Clan if you guys are new. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all. I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.